They kicked off the first day of school for Fowler Unified. CBS 47's Viviani Ivan talked with students at Fowler High School who are excited to begin this new year. Welcome to Fowler High School. We are so glad you're here with us this morning. The Fowler High School Redcats returned to campus today. Principal Rick Perez welcomed the 807 kids back with some music to start their day. We are just so excited to have our students return to school today. We say welcome to the Red Cat family. Every one of these students uh, is important to us here. This is his first year as principal, but he's no stranger to the campus. He graduated from Fowler High School back in 2000. And this school year, Principal Perez says they've made investments in safety and security. So you notice some uh, more familiar faces here on campus with our campus supervisors and also a partnership with the Fowler Police Department as well. Students who are interested in agriculture will also be able to use a new facility. Our brand new Ag Center that our students will get, be able to utilize throughout the day. We have a strong agriculture and FFA program here at Fowler High School. The FFA program on campus gives students hands-on experience raising and caring for animals. 36 animals, including sheep, goats, and pigs, are raised on the farm. Marissa Holler started showing goats her freshman year and is now a junior. It's a really cool experience starting with an animal who has never been worked with before to someone who will show perfectly at fair. But the FFA program offers courses that will not only help in agriculture, but also in building lifelong skills. Other courses include welding and plant science. You can really find something for everyone here just because there are so many things you can do. For teachers, the hands-on experience is what truly makes a difference. Just seeing the kids very excited about being out here, you know, doing things with their hands is what gets me on my toes every single day. In Fowler, Viviani Yvonne, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.